Yes, guys, it would be this cell that's the number one best cell for your off grid solar system. Okay. These cells they come in two versions one is 100 amp hours, another one, which is this one, is the 180 amp hours. When they come brand new, these will test very close or even more than 200 amp hours. Okay, the 100 amp hours will probably test around 120, but I am not sure. I don't have that many of those, but I got plenty of these on my solar system. And I have all kinds of batteries on my solar system. And I have to say, it's been it's been almost four years, roughly, and these cells are the best performing cells. I used to have a question on my mind if I should use the lead acid or the lithium ion. Well, that was, that was complete complete nonsense okay the lead acid is way 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 behind these lipo 4 cells there is lipo 4 cell then there is long time nothing and then somewhere at the bottom of the batch is the lead acid battery okay don't even think about the lead acid. And if you deciding between the LiPo 4, between the EVE cells, or I don't know what is on the market today, I'm telling you, trust me, this is the best cell for your off-grid solar system. Okay? This is how they look pretty much and this is a brand new cell absolutely beautiful I have to say I'm in love with these okay those are pretty big and they will give you some power trust me on that so let's test them cheers Yeah, fantastic. Okay, guys, so I'm really impressed. As of right now, this is the second set of the Kalp 180 I purchased from this company. And they, again, they look, they are brand new. Okay, and I just want to start here from the beginning um, because... Uh, from the previous video you can see that I tested them and everything but not all the way from the beginning not completely so here we go okay from the beginning this is how they arrived well let me just show you one of them like really how they look they they look just brand new okay they have the uh, serial number here they got the sequence numbers on top okay they don't have any residue inside the terminals completely clean okay and pretty much uh, I actually call them and ask them because those guys they probably don't know I don't I don't know but whatever I asked them to send me the batteries in a sequence. These numbers are important, okay, because this is the capacity matched of these cells. And let's see, they they said they never charged them. They've been pretty much sitting in a warehouse. And as we know that these cells are not made anymore. So these are really hard to find brand new, okay. That's why I'm so excited actually. 
So let's check check the voltage on them. Actually, let me zoom here on the mirror a little bit. Okay, I hope you can see that. And uh, let's see the first one. Three, two, seven, four. Second one. Three, two, seven, six. Another one. Three, two, seven, five. Three, two, seven, six, and this is just fantastic. That's how they're supposed to be when when they are brand new. Okay? Or or if you take care of them very well, but these are brand new. So I'm gonna put them to test again. And I'm gonna just go through the test really briefly because the video before was pretty detailed. And we'll see if these cells are, are again brand new. They honestly they do look like they've been never used. But I never take anybody's word for it. I test it for myself. So there we go. We're gonna connect them, discharge them to 10%, and charge them back to 100%. And let's see what we get out, okay? Yeah, and before I forget the hardware it came with, okay, this is my hardware which is beat up, but the hardware it's this uh, uh, these bridges or whatever we want to call these things, okay, between the cells, they they look exactly brand new and also what is very important is this M8 bolts okay you see the thread lock on it the blue thread lock on each of the bolts here okay when people buy these cells they're gonna screw that bolt in the terminal and the thread lock will leave a residue inside the terminal, okay? That's how you can tell when you're buying used cells. If there is a residue, if there is a blue residue inside, inside the terminal, then the cell has been used. Okay, I rest my case. But this is what I recommend to do with those brand new bolts. Okay. I would completely strip the blue residue from them. And it's for two reasons. One is when you screw it in, you have to kind of force it into the terminal. And I don't like that. And number two, when you screw it in, you have the blue thread lag on it. It does not create good connection. Okay? That's two reasons. Also, what I would do. If you look at the bolts at the bottom, they have a really sharp um, kind of edges. And the bolts, when you screw them in, when you screw them into the terminal, if you don't use one of these washers, okay, you got one regular washer and one spring washer, and this uh, bar here you're gonna hit the bottom of the terminal and you can really easy break it off because the bolt is exactly exactly actually if you if you try screwing without it you're gonna hit the bottom okay so I really don't like this 
sharp edges here and what I do I just take my sander here and I just send off the sharp edges on a bolt okay so they're not sharp anymore number one number two the bolt is a little bit shorter that's what I would recommend but you do whatever you want maybe I'm just a little too particular here but I like perfect job not like anybody else so in the meantime we can go see the battery bank that I have on the solar here and here is one of them those are the 100 amp hour cells the calp cells the smaller one actually and down here these are actually the same cells right here 180 and these are the SE200 the blue ones and those are actually really good cells too for solar okay and if we go on the other side into the other system which is uh, the 12-volt system okay so on this side we have one set of the 180 amp hour cells the calp cells right here about three years old they pay performing really nice and again the SE200 the blue cells they pay performing really good too another set down here okay so let's go back to the charged cells and these puppies are sitting here and charging and uh, they've been charging Let's see. Okay, uh, let me grab a screwdriver here. Let's get out of. Okay, so right here is the time. Eight and a half, eight hours and 34 minutes. They charge 177 amp hours with 20.8 amps. Okay. So, and the voltage is 13.9 on them, but I will check each cell and let's see. Okay, it's going to be a little difficult with one hand, but I will do my best. So, let's see here. So the first cell is right at 3.5. Okay. And that is uh, as far as I probably want to go. 3.5. Another one. 479. 468. 477 okay so this one the first one here 351 is the weakest cell pretty much so that one I can tell right now it has a hundred hundred seventy eight amp hours has been charged with 178 amp hours and if we add 10 percent to it that will be that will be roughly 17 18 amp hours so that's uh, 180 96 or so something like that yeah 196 amp hours uh, 196 amp hours for the weakest cell 
and the other ones are not far behind actually but uh, this is uh, this is pretty much uh, good enough and again as you can see these are brand new cells and they are in sequence okay 19 20 21 and 18 okay so 18 19 20 and 21 so they've been matched from the factory but still they are not exactly the same capacity okay so all I want to say is uh, let me just shut this down right now I'm done with charging I don't want to go any farther than that um, so these are new cells okay they never been used and they charged about 296 amp hours and that's how it's supposed to be and that's good uh, but but what I want to say is that these cells even though they are matched from factory and that's the best match you can you can ever get they still are not going to be the exactly same capacity so no matter what you do with these you always have to use BMS and it's really really good idea to use the uh, balancer 5 amp balancer those are the best balancers actually so I guess I rest my case uh, this company is selling uh, brand new cells that's good next time